Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're unable to install this update that is KV5062553. Because of this error code that is 0x800F0922. So if you're receiving this error code, then please follow the steps shown in this video. So first of all, pause and restart the update. So here you can see pause update, go to Windows update and then click on pause. And this process may take some time. And once paused, now you can hit resume updates. And let this complete and then you can check still not working the next step is to start app readiness service now for this type in services in windows search box and then click on services now find app readiness make a double click on app readiness set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted click on ok now open windows settings and try to update still not working the next step is to run update troubleshooter now for this go to system go to troubleshoot click on other troubleshooters now over here you can see windows update click on run this will open this screen and you will see windows update troubleshooter and for me it never works so you can try this it might work for you for me it never works so here you can see run the windows update troubleshooter and here you can see i can't download install or uninstall and update option click on it And here you can see can we run the windows update automated diagnostic so hit yes and this is where it never works for me so you can check if it is working for you or not but i always receive like there is a problem running troubleshooting something like that now here you can see checked for windows update error the windows update diagnostic failed to run now over here if you see this option like you might see this option would you like to talk to agent so if you want to talk to microsoft agent you can you can just talk to them you can select yes and proceed and still not working or if you don't want to in that case uh, you can follow the next step that is restart windows update and background intelligent transfer service now for this type in services in windows search box and then click on services and then find windows update in the list scroll down and here you can see windows update make a double click set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok with this selected make a right click click on restart and then find background intelligent transfer service make a double click set this to automatic click on apply Click on start if highlighted and then click on OK. With this selected, make a right click, make a right click and then click on restart. And once this is done, now you can update your Windows 11 and then check. Still not working. The next step is to use Windows 11 installation assistant. For this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Here you can see Windows 11 installation assistant. Click on download now and then run this exe file. Now click on yes to allow. If there is any update, you will see update now option or install option. In my case, it is already up to date and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to use Microsoft update catalog. Now for this, copy this link. Uh, the link is provided in the video description now over here type in the name of the update that is kb5062553 this is the update and then you can paste it over here write down the name of the update then click on search for me it's windows 11 version 24h2 x64 base system you can check what kind of system you have you can go to system and then scroll down go to about section over here when you click on about you will see system type x64 so for me it's windows 11 version 24h2 x64 base system click on download and then click on kv5062553 and then let download complete once the download is complete you can click on this file and you can click on this file just 
click it and you can install this update manually and then restart your computer. If that does not work, you can even install this and then restart your computer and then check. Now, the next step is to reset Windows update components. Now, for this, copy all these commands. These commands are provided in the video description. So, copy it till here and then type in notepad in Windows search box and then click on notepad, paste all the command over here. Go to file, save as, you can set the location as desktop. Name this file as wufix.bat. And then for save as type, select all files over here. And then you can click on save. In my case, it was already there. So now once you can go to desktop, make a right click on W, you fix, and then make a right click and then click on run as administrator. Make sure that you always open this file as an administrator. And click on yes to allow and let the process complete. Now, this process will take some time. If you receive prompt, like type in Y for yes and hit the enter key. Now, let me inform you. First of all, it will stop all the Windows update services and then it will run some scans. Now, there are a couple of scans. Here you can see, uh, I'll show you. There are different scans over here. So here you can see there are different scans. So there are three, four scans. So this scan process will take some time. And once the scans are complete, once all the scans are complete, it will restart all the Windows update services. And then once the complete process is done, restart your computer. Once it's done, when, uh, when it is complete, it will automatically close, I think. If not, you can close this and then restart your computer and then check. Still not working, the next step is to Use fix problems using Windows Update option. Now for this, open Windows settings, go to Windows Update, and then go to Advanced option over here. Scroll down, go to Recovery option. Over here, you can see the option which says Fix problems using Windows Update. This will reinstall your current version of Windows. Your apps, files, and settings will be preserved. So click on Reinstall now. Once This process will take some time. Once the reinstall is complete, log into the computer and then check. So that should help you. Still not working. The last step is to use media creation tool. So you can copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Same website. Here you can see media creation tool. Click on download now. And then you can run this exe file. When you run this exe file, you will see this accept option. So hit accept. And then by default, Windows 11 would be selected. Select next, hit next. Then select ISO file over here and then click on next. Set the location as desktop and then you can click on save. And then let the process complete. This process will take some time. Once done, click on finish. Now once you click on finish, you will see the screen. Do not close it manually from here. Just let it complete. This will close automatically. Once this is done, go to desktop. Make a double click on Windows ISO file. You will see the setup file. Make a double click on setup file. Click on yes to allow. Click on next over here. Click, click on accept. And by default, here you can see, you will see ready to install by default, the option to keep personal files and apps would be checked. When this is checked, you will not lose any data on the computer. So make sure this is checked and then click on install over here. This process will take some time. And once this is done, your window should be up to date and you should be able to install this update successfully on your Windows 11 computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.